for watching EDFL Web TV from the Sporting Globe, 690 Mount Alexander Road in Mooney Pond. It's time to look ahead to round 11 and we start with Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division. Uh, Adam, off the top, uh, can Pasco Vale upset Strathmore or can we get an upset for the Northern Saints against Keylor? Uh, if uh, one's more likely than the other, I think Northern Saints might be a sneaky chance against Keelor. Can't say Paco beating Strathmore, so uh, should be two wins there for two of the finals contenders there, Keelor, Keelor and uh, Strathmore. It's almost impossible to tip Marby because we don't know who's being cleared from the VFL. We don't know who's being cleared into the club full stop. Could they pull off an upset win with their backs to the wall, as far as the latter is concerned, against a demoralised Airport West? They could. They're at home um, and Airport West, uh, you, you can't trust them whatsoever at the moment. Yeah, it does depend on who's in the lineup for Maribyrnong Park. If they can uh, get uh, you know, 15, 16, 17 of their best 22 in that particular lineup on Saturday, then they might be a very good show. But Airport West should still win because uh, they're not counting themselves out of the finals race just yet. Speaking of teams with low morale, can Essendon do to Stars capitalise on Aberfeldy, who will still be suffering from the fallout of that loss to Greenville where they were overrun? Uh, any chance, the Stars, uh, that they can get their second win of the season? Could go two ways. Aberfeldy could come out firing and actually uh, get it right and click and uh, completely destroy Essendon due to Stars, or Aberfeldy can keep going the way they are at the moment and allow Essendon due to Stars into the game. It's a good local rivalry, this one. It's at Nipper Jordan Oval and Essendon due to Stars, despite losing by three figures the first time around. It's definitely going to be closer than that. And uh, if the game's close at three quarter time, like we saw against Greenvale for Aberfeldy, then Essendon due to Stars are going to be uh, feeling very, very confident that they can get the job done. Keep it close. They might be a chance. Now, you flagged Greenville versus Avondale Heights as the potential first loss of the season for Avondale Heights up at Section Road. Greenvale do not often lose there, but this has been the season where their home fortress really has been breached a number of times. So does the Rose and Galea show, Grabowski, Megan, Free, Young, this amazing Avondale Heights team, Tiller and uh, also the Tanner in their back line. Do they go up to Greenvale and make a statement? Or can Greenvale finally be the first team to knock off Avondale Heights. The Jets will want to improve on what they delivered at Clifton Park, especially in the first two and a half quarters. Uh, it was a real sort of lockdown, lockdown sort of game. Uh, don't really know which of the two sides uh, were controlling that kind of tempo, but uh, if Avondale Heights, uh, if they get everything right, then uh, Greenvale just don't have enough firepower at the moment, especially up forward. Uh, Greenvale isn't known for their forward line, and obviously the, the Rose and Galea combination are going to kick at least uh, seven or eight goals. So. For mine, Avondale Heights just has a few too many weapons right now. Might be a different story if they meet later on in the year. Certainly, Greenvale's mental state can't be questioned. They have great passion and great resilience. But I think Avondale Heights just have that bit more polish, a bit more skill in midfield, and the delivery to Rose and Galea will be uh, potentially deadly up at Section Road. So I think Avondale Heights might win. And uh, the reason we're not going there for the EDFL match of the day, I think is because they might win well. Uh, Greenville, if they uh, have a close one, maybe will regret not taking the trailer up to Section Road. It's going to be a big game either way, Tao, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, Greenville can uh, keep it very, very close and they might just knock off Avondale Heights, uh, which hasn't happened yet in 2014. We move on to Essendon Ford Division 1 and look ahead to the weekend. Hillside has the bye. Uh, Craigieburn taking on West Meadows. This was West Meadows' biggest win of the year, Craigieburn's biggest loss of the year when they met first time around. And also Hadfield taking on West Coburg. Uh, can we make the case for an upset either way here or do we expect the Tigers and the Burgers to continue on their merry way? West Coburg will win uh, that, one, that much, I am confident about, about saying. West Meadows and Craigieburn, where is that game? It's at Willowbrook, so... Uh, you'd expect the Tigers to get up, but uh, Craigie Burn might, might be fancying themselves. Uh, they've knocked off Hadfield and they're desperate to get off the bottom of the ladder. Craigie Burn at the moment, if they, if they can win, then they will be, uh, providing Oak Park goes down, then they will be off the bottom. So they might push uh, West Meadows all the way. It's a, it's a local rivalry, that one. And uh, I'm expecting a pretty close game down at Willowbrook this weekend. Oak Park would have felt pretty stiff to kick 120 points against West Meadows and lose. They can go out and do it again against Tullamarine this weekend and they might lose. Do they play into the hands of Tullamarine by going for a shootout? Or do they need a bit more defensive discipline to be able to win this game? I'm not so sure they'll be able to outgun Kent, Mangan, Harms and the Tullamarine running midfield and supporting cast if they try to run and gun again this weekend. 
for mine, the better defensive unit out of Tullamarine and West Coburg is Tullamarine, so can't see Oak Park uh, engaging in a shootout, and if it is a fairly open, uh, free-flowing set of game, then Tullamarine will win this one comfortably. Uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously a very tough ask for Oak Park, at least it's at home, so they might be able to draw a little bit of confidence out of that, but uh, Tullamarine should just continue on their merry way and get another win. And the last match for the weekend in Essendon Ford Division 1 pipped at the post to be the match of the day broadcast. Uh, the trailer had uh, one wheel out at uh, Sewell Reserve for Glenroy versus Taylor's Lakes. Uh, it does promise to be a very interesting match. Glenroy have had the two buys, so that's why they're three wins but are still on the verge of the top four. Maybe they can revive some hopes if they beat Taylor's Lakes in this one. Mark D'Souza, of course, comes back available from suspension for Taylor's Lakes, which is a crucial in. I think Taylor's Lakes will win this at Sewell Reserve and perhaps lock the door to the top four in Division 1. What are your thoughts on the way this match might go? No, I'm not so confident on Taylor's Lakes at the moment. Um, they can obviously prove me wrong this weekend and get a good win at Glen Roy, but it's pretty desperate now for Glen Roy. Like you said, Taylor, their boys are done. They're not going to be handed any more free points for the rest of the year. So uh, they want to get uh, their season uh, right and going at the uh, right time of year, and it all starts this weekend. Uh, I reckon Glen Roy wins uh, in a relatively close one. And so to Division 2, the home of upset results, it seems, and the home of uh, big surprises and score lines in the EDFL right now. East Keylor, they get to uh, take their frustrations out on East Sunbury, so we perhaps fear for East Sunbury. And Coburg District's in a similar situation. They'll be looking to uh, really find their goal-scoring power again against Burnside Heights, so we... For the league's sake, for neutrality's sake, we hope that those two underdogs can keep it to under 100 points and maybe even pinch a quarter if they are good enough. But uh, unfortunately for those two, I think uh, both East Keelor and Coburg Districts will be looking to refine some form after very bad losses last weekend. Uh, before we get to our match of the day, which will be broadcast on Northwest FM, we have to talk about Roxburgh Park versus Mooney Valley because when Mooney Valley lost to Roxburgh Park by just 10 points the first time around in the head-to-heads, we thought they were the closest team. We thought they were top four contenders. They entered this match in sixth. Their finals hopes are more or less on the line. They need to beat Roxburgh Park to get back into the mix for the top four here. The question is, can they do it? Because if we recall last time, uh, Charlie Fennick, the Mooney Valley coach, was right here with us at the Sporting Globe and he said he'd love to play Roxburgh Park on a dry track. Um, I don't see too much sun in the sky heading into this weekend. So Lakeside Drive, it is a great oval, but uh, unfortunately for Mooney Valley, I don't think they get to test themselves uh, in pristine conditions. It's going to be very much one for the, the willing, tough players up there at Roxburgh Park. Yeah, pretty difficult to ask for Mooney Valley, uh, but um, the form line doesn't read well, obviously. They lost those four games before this weekend, but they're all close. So, so Mooney Valley are definitely still in the hunt. And uh, Roxy, a bit like Avondale Heights, a bit like West Coburg, maybe not West Coburg so much, but a bit like Avondale Heights, just waiting for, waiting for them to drop a game here or there. It could well be this weekend, but not likely. Now let's move on to our Northwest FM Match of the Day broadcast. You can also hear it streaming on your smartphone via the EDFL team app, which is free to download. Keelor Park versus Jakarta. Who would have thought we'd be heading out to this match uh, for Match of the Day because the winner takes the spoils. Fourth spot is up for grabs. Jakarta has a much worse percentage than Keelor Park, so you would suggest that perhaps they need this win a bit more. Who do you like? Uh, I'm going to tip Keelor Park. I just think that the first head-to-head -head where Keelor Park kept Jakarta to a low score and had a bit of an arm's length win counts for a lot because Keelor Park weren't in great form at that stage of the season and they have since improved significantly but Jakarta's improvement has also been huge so which way are you leaning on this one? Yeah, uh, the recent history suggests that uh, Keelor Park obviously has Jakarta's measure but right now it's a, it's a bit of a different story at least in terms of the four line. I reckon this one will stay, will stay true to form. I reckon Keelor Park uh, wins Tao but I'm expecting a pretty good competitive game of footy, uh, Keelor Park. They've uh, been on some. They've been on a pretty good run in recent weeks. They uh, need to consolidate that now, and uh, if they don't, it's just going to throw everything into complete chaos. So, it's going to be a really exciting game of footy, and I'm really hoping for a close one out there. It's uh, hopefully a not too windy Keelor Park. 
That's it for EDFL Web TV this week. Check out our social media networks. The links are appearing on your screen right now. And also EDFL.TV is where you can both view and download the full game of Craigie Byrne versus Hatfield from Essendon Ford Division 1. And all the previous games that have been filmed this season are still available to view or download. Adam, that's it. Uh, looking forward to the weekend. Gee, we've talked it up a bit, but after round 10, why wouldn't we be excited about round 11? Uh, this is one of the uh, great seasons of uh, EDFL Senior Footy Tale. It's uh, very exciting and can't wait to see what more surprises are in store this weekend. So make sure you join us from 1pm on Saturday on Northwest FM 98.9 or streaming via the web, northwestfm.org, but also also to your smartphone. The team app is absolutely free to download. Just look for EDFL and then the live radio button and you'll be able to stream the audio of the match of the day. Keel or Park versus Jakarta, wherever you go that you have an internet connection. Adam, thank you very much for your company this week. That is it for EDFL Web TV. Make sure you check out all the other videos on the EDFL YouTube channel and enjoy your football this weekend. We'll see you back here at the Sporting Globe, 690 Mount Alexander Road in Mooney Ponds next week.